Nietzsche once said, without music, life is a mistake. I'm pretty sure that my life would have been a mistake if I hadn't been involved in music. So when I was four years old, I was incredibly jealous of my brother who played the guitar. So one morning, I got dressed up, I got my notebooks, and, my, and, to, and told my parents to find me an instrument to play. So I tried out the violin, the guitar, of course, and the flute. But my hands were too small for all of these. But then I stumbled upon the piano. But you know, the attention span of a four-year-old is approximately 20 minutes, so I started taking 20-minute lessons each week. And after two years of hard work and dedication, I had my first concert. I got up on the stage, I sat in front of the piano, and they had to put a box beneath my feet because my feet were dangling in the air. And then I started playing like a professional. And that was it. Now, a year after that, Kamran Gündemir, one of the teachers of the world-famous Turkish pianist Fazıl Say, came to the place where I was taking my piano lessons at. And he told the manager there that he was looking for students to train. So I auditioned, and we started working together. We worked together for three years, and every single lesson, I would ask him two questions. One, when are we going to use the sustain pedal? And what the sustain pedal does is that it basically sustains the sound. And two, when are we going to play the Turkish march? Towards the end of the third year, we had started playing the free release, and, it, and he had promised me that we would play the Turkish march after that. Unfortunately, he passed away at the end of the third year. But I learned many important things from him. And the most important thing I learned was how to live the music and how to express yourself through it. He would tell me that the girl is crying because her lover is leaving on the train, and that's the train's whistle blowing. He would dance for me when I was playing a bohemian dance. Now, you can't play a Chopin piece like this, and it's correct. But you can also play it like this. Now, we were very lucky to find another teacher, Elif Ana, a pianist at the Bilkin Symphony Orchestra. So, throughout my journey with my trustworthy companion, I, of course, learned how to play the piano, yes, but I also learned how to play with the piano. And I discovered that I enjoyed trying out new genres on the piano. So, I first started making my own compositions. to try to play some movie soundtracks. And then I said, why don't I try something a little bit more popular? tried playing Turkish music. And over on the classical side, I played everything from Gershwin Chopin, 
using the sustain pedal. And of course, the Turkish march. And the piece I'll pre play for you in a while is an arrangement of the Turkish march, which starts out like that, and then there's this part. And then it builds up. And then there's the graceful part. And then the coda. What amazed me about this arrangement was how a man from the 21st century, Fazl Sai, could swoop in take a piece from the 18th century and still find something to add to it. And that's what I love about music. It's how it's dynamic, and there's always something for you to add to it. I made a decision 12 years ago to start playing the piano. And that single decision opened up a whole new path with a whole new set of decisions to make. So you never know how a decision you made 10, 15 years ago, or a decision you made today, or a decision you'll make tomorrow, can affect your life in a way you never could have imagined it would. I hope you will enjoy Allah Turka Jazz by Fazl Sai. 